Okay, wrapping up the installation of a tracker tow bar on a Geo Tracker. This is the tow bar base that's mounted to the brackets. They're the 118-8 bracket, I think it says. And uh, really a fine setup for the tracker. Um, couldn't find any video or even any pictures of this when I bought the uh, parts from Roadmaster. So I thought I'd throw this up real quick. Here's, uh, I'm drilling the last hole. Don't know if you can see it, but the last hole right there through the frame. And uh, I start with a small bit and work my way up about four different times in order to um, there's a little bit that's in there. I've got these intermediary bits and then finally I use the half inch bit in my cordless drill to uh, go ahead and ream that out to a half inch so you can put the, the uh, washers and bolts in it. Um, this bolt is a factory, uh, there's a factory nut back behind there so that one is real easy. You don't have to drill anything. You just put it in and tighten it. And then down underneath you have, I'm not sure where this is, I'm upside down, but there's another bolt there. That one you also have to drill. So you have to drill four holes in your frame to get this in place. But once you do, I think it's a, a good looking solid installation and it should make this thing tow really well behind the, uh, the motor home. Um, there is a, uh, the tow bar of course is an A-frame tow bar that comes out here to the, to the hitch. And basically it's, it'll, it'll be a real easy setup. Um, I have behind me in my garage my Wrangler that I also have set up to tow behind the motor home. And it's, uh, it tows beautifully, but it weighs 1,200 pounds more. This Sahara with the hard top and all the goodies is a lot heavier than the tracker. And honestly, for a vehicle that only gets used uh, a small amount of time, I'll have a whole lot less money uh, tied up in this little tracker than uh, I, I do in the Jeep, and it should tow uh, quite a bit easier. So that's the goal. and. Um, I know the tracker sitting on the scale up here at the port of entry uh, is 2,500 pounds. And uh, the Jeep is 3,700 for the Wrangler TJ Sahara. So that gives you an idea. Anyhow, I'm going to finish this up and be done. Thanks.